Hi, my name is Olivia, and you're watching Jobs and Showbiz. Today we're here with background performer Andrew. How are you? I am very well, and yourself? Wonderful, thank you. So tell me a little bit about what you do in background and how you get into the field. Uh, well, basically, we're uh, kind of the, the behind the scenes, in front of the scenes of what makes the, the shot look real, I guess. So you have uh, a lot of, obviously, work and effort that goes into to, to creating a... Uh, a world that people, An atmosphere. yeah, that <laughs> yeah. People will be compelled in, and uh, you kind of take for granted, I guess, that there's a lot more going on behind the actual action that you see. So we're kind of the people that you know, it's quick, easy money, and potentially it could be good for people who want to network or advance up through that industry to be able to do that and make it look a little bit more real, because that's what happens when you're interacting with people in your life, anyways, yeah, right? Interesting. And what kind of roles do you think you're stereotyped as? Uh, when well, you're doing background. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much anything that can block a tall light or a tall. Uh, <laughs> Because he's very and, tall, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Six, four. Um, today I'm playing a Scotsman, uh, so anything in a kilt or with this facial hair or long hair, we do that. Um, but uh, yeah, usually uh, with the shorter hair, like cops or soldiers or anything uh, kind of manly men, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, but uh, really there's there's nothing, nothing you can't do. Um, there's club scenes, there's... There's diner scenes, there's just passerbys on streets, there's lots lots and lots of opportunities, especially if you like being in this industry. It's good for people who are tired, people who want to do more in it, or people who just want something to do. For sure, and how do you sign up at an agency, and how do you know which ones are good? Uh, well, the best way is if you can if you can interact or find someone who's actually in the industry, they can sort of, like anything in life, they can point you in the right direction. Um, but what I would recommend is, is looking up into, like anything, there's usually unions or, or some kind of operating system that runs the industry. And for this particular avenue of this industry, because there's obviously different unions for crews, but for background and acting and all that kind of stuff and standing in, there's Actra. Okay. So I would go to actra.com and they'll have a list of reputable agents, um, the phone numbers, contact information, and even a whole bunch of articles that you could read and sort of, uh, I guess, find a little bit of knowledge yourself and do a little bit of research on your own, uh, figure out what everything is, and then uh, I would look at some of the agents you see, maybe call like four or five, see see how they are, because if you can't really get a hold of them or, or, or build a good rapport right off the bat, is that someone you want to be working with anyway? So, good to know. Yeah. And are you part of the union? I am indeed. I am a full member. I've uh, been so for the last few years. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's, I would, yeah, if you're, if you're going to be doing extra work and you, I mean, especially if you want to do acting, I would maybe maybe stay non-union for a bit, <clears throat> get, a, get a lot of experience because um, there's a lot more opportunities for non-union actors, but once you uh, are in the union, there's especially if you're just doing extra work, go go non or sorry, go go union route because you get it's double the pay, benefits, oh, all that, yeah, <laughs> lots of stuff. Um, but try to get some stuff if you are like myself personally. I am pursuing acting, so um, as once I got a few non-union roles under my belt, um, and then I became the union, I just tried to bank off a couple uh, of credits that way. Um, and then things start going, right? Yeah, you start rolling. You get like anything in life, you build up momentum and you just keep going. going understandable and last but not least if yep. there was another job you could do on set other than acting okay <laughs> what would it be and why on set um i would say probably set set design i mean unless you get into directing and writing but that to me kind of i guess it doesn't coincide i don't know but to me those three i would love to do but branching away from that more physicality of it i'd love to do set design because I, I i'm into learning uh buying and flipping houses right now and a lot of the construction we do in destruction and all that um, yeah, you could put stuff together, and then there's a little bit of the artsy world as well. You can paint and do drapery and carpets and drapes, and, <laughs> you know, all this little cups and ponies and all the stuff that comes in to make it look real. Okay, perfect. Thank you for watching, and thanks for chatting. Thank you for having me.